Mr. Fisher, before you say anything, just hear me out. All right. The last time I saw you after the accident, I was angry. I thought everyone was out to hurt me. What I didn't realise is it was me who was hurting them. I figured going to America would solve my problems, and it did, but not in the way I expected. It wasn't until Rue went into hospital and I thought I was going to lose her. I realised how you must have felt when you thought you were going to lose Seb. You know his life will never be the same. I know, but I really am sorry. Thank you. Mom. I don't want to argue. I... I'm, I'm sorry for my strong reaction earlier. It, it's just that I want you to be prepared for what you're getting yourselves into. I, I think that we are prepared. Even so, moving out is a big step. There are practical things like rent and food and living expenses, and you have still got your studies. Yes, and we've figured all that um, out, Mum. What if I was to offer you a compromise? But, Tasha, provided Irene is OK, mm -hmm. why don't you come and move in to Robbie's room for a while? What, like all of us in here together? You could still lead independent lives without any of the other considerations. And you would have something to fall back on, just in case. I'd, and I would feel much more comfortable. Mm. What do you say? I guess Mum's right about the practicalities. Yeah. But then it wouldn't be the same as us living together. Scott and Maddie will be around and... Henry too when he gets back. Then again, I do think Rainy would be happier with the idea. So what are you saying? Well, the most important thing is that we're together. Is that right? Yes. Well, I'm happy to try it if you are. So the answer, yes? Yes. Only on the condition that you let us live our own lives. And we want to get our own place eventually too. Which will be sooner rather than later if things don't work out here, OK? OK. It's a deal. Right, so as soon as we find the right time to tell Irene, Tash will move in. Mm -hmm. Right. Whatever's the best for you both. OK, then. I'm so excited. It's going to be such a good party. Yes, at least we're all together. That's what counts. Just like old times. <laughs> I think it's actually time we get the birthday boy. Oh, let's do it. OK, we'll One. be hiding when you get back. Ooh. I hope the shock doesn't give him a heart attack. It has been known to happen, you know. Scotch, anyone? Yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> Granddad! Granddad! Oh, he's not here. What do you mean he's gone fishing? Does the note say where? Fishing. He can't have gone far. Well, let's split up and start searching. I got my mate's car. Okay, we can come with me. Yeah, um, everybody take their phones and keep them on. We'll stay in touch. I'll stay here to make sure the food stays warm. Oh, in which case I'm leaving, Donald. We'll check the beach. Yeah. Come on, Sophie, check the rock pool. All right, start the flaming shindig. Here I am. What's going on? Well, we're just trying to work out whether there's actually going to be a shindig. Was he there? No, I haven't seen him. What? I assume we forget, huh? Forget what? Don't you remember that time we took the dinghy out there? Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we paddled straight into the rocks. Yeah, and as soon as the tide came in, we got stuck, remember? <laughs> Almost had to call the SES. Hey, is that him? Yeah, I think it is. Come on. Strike me! Flame and handsome! What are you two doing? Hello, mate. Hello. Hey, Dan. What's going on? Come, mate. Come we'll on. tell you later. Come on. What do you mean you'll tell me later? <laughs> Shh. 
they're coming, they're coming. I can't believe you two came back for me birthday. Oh, you only turned 60 once in your life. Yeah, well, what's all this about, anyway? Happy huh? birthday! Great to see you. Happy birthday. Get you, Lapid. I'll get you later. Good day, mate. Happy birthday, Dad. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Good to see you. Happy birthday, Lance. Happy birthday. Sixty again, eh?